thousands of Starship launches each year. This is the extremely ambitious goal that Elon has always talked about. And if it becomes a reality, it's going to be an unprecedented achievement. And to realize this unimaginable goal, SpaceX has to do things no one has ever done before, revolutionizing rocket launch infrastructure. SpaceX is even rapidly constructing a new launch tower, more flexible and efficient than ever over at Starbase. This is a structure built at breakneck speed, breaking all records in the aerospace industry. Let's find out more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. In the past few weeks, SpaceX has been intensely focused on constructing the second launch tower at Starbase, providing us with a realistic view of the crazy speed and latest improvements of the construction. As of July 19th, SpaceX has completed stacking the third module of the tower. The first one was installed on July 11th, followed by a second on July 15th. Although most of the pipes and internal equipment have not yet been connected, this installation process is expected to proceed quickly thanks to the pre-preparation of components. A simple calculation shows that on average, SpaceX can complete stacking one tower segment every four days, including the activities related to connecting the two segments and preparing the next one. If this progress continues by the 27th of this month, SpaceX will have installed six tower segments, thus completing configuration one as outlined in the FAA documents released at the end of last month. The entire construction process of the second launch tower will be divided into three configurations. As the configuration approaches completion, we can observe an extremely rapid pace. This might not be comparable to previous tower assembly processes, but at this point, SpaceX is concurrently operating space development programs while addressing issues with Falcon 9 and Starship. Therefore, if SpaceX completes configuration one in just about a month, it would be a rare achievement. After completing this phase, Configuration 2 follows immediately, starting July 27th of this year through August 15th of next month. Almost three weeks, the FAA described, towards the end of July, we will reconfigure the boom, which will put it to the elevations noted in the evaluation. This means that just in about three weeks, SpaceX will stack the remaining three segments to help the tower achieve its basic structure. I think these three segments will include the two being transported and then the peak segment. This announcement does not specify whether or not the Mechazilla arm will be installed on the tower, but I expect this step to be carried out concurrently with the tower stacking process. And finally, we come to Configuration 3. This configuration will last more than five months, from May 18th to January 28th of next year. This period is described as follows. After the tower is built, the crane will be reconfigured into a smaller boom configuration for smaller projects on site, but less than Configuration 1. This stage can be used to add support systems like the water deluge system, water pipes, fuel lines connecting the tank farm and OLM, and the launch tower. It's crucial to consider the timing of constructing the OLM, that's the orbital launch mount, and tank farm alongside the launch tower. These components form the backbone of Starship's launch infrastructure, facilitating crucial fueling and launch operations. The strategic decision to build these systems is parallel with the tower, not only maximizing efficiency, but also ensuring a comprehensive and functional launch complex, and that'll be ready for action at the earliest possible date. SpaceX's ability to orchestrate this multifaceted development will be instrumental in maintaining project momentum and adhering to ambitious launch timelines. The rapid progress of the new launch tower over at Starbase is particularly noteworthy, with plans to complete tower stacking in a mere two months for the initial two phases and projections to finalize the entire structure within a six-month window, including the third phase. SpaceX is demonstrating remarkable speed and efficiency. This accelerated timeline outpaces previous construction efforts at both Starbase and Florida facilities. While the current schedule aligns with FAA projections, SpaceX's track record of surpassing expectations suggests the possibility of an even swifter completion. Regarding the use of the second tower for upcoming flights, Elon's projected schedule for Flight 5 at the end of this month or early next makes it unrealistic to use the new tower for this mission. Furthermore, Kathy Loiter's recent update cast doubt on whether the first tower will attempt a booster catch in the immediate future. Instead, it seems this ambitious maneuver might get postponed till Flight 6 as trajectory planning continues to evolve. These developments highlight SpaceX's pragmatic approach to integrating new infrastructure. The company is carefully balancing the introduction of advanced capabilities with the need to maintain a steady launch cadence and ensure mission success. 
While the roadmap for the first launch tower is relatively clear, the role of the new tower in upcoming missions remains somewhat ambiguous. In an ideal scenario, assuming all safety checks and systems are fully validated, it'd be exciting to see the new tower attempt to catch one of the flight stages. Such a test would serve as a powerful demonstration of the new tower's capabilities and mark a significant milestone in SpaceX's reusability efforts. After understanding the construction process of the tower, let's delve into the design. The new tower currently has nine segments and appears not to need any additional segments as construction has already begun. Based on observations, we can see that the new tower will be slightly taller due to an elevated foundation. According to Zach Golden, this new foundation is 13.4 meters high, surpassing the height of the first tower's foundation by one and a half meters. That one was 11.9 meters. FAA documents support this observation. A March 2021 document lists the height of the first tower at 469 feet. That's 143 meters, not including the approximately 10-foot or 3-meter lightning rod. Meanwhile, documents from April of this year show the new launch tower to be 474 feet or 144 and a half meters tall. Since the segments of the tower have not changed, the increased height is clearly due to higher foundation. Adding to these revelations, Elon recently shared even more ambitious plans in the latest video from Everyday Astronaut. He stated SpaceX aims to make the second tower taller, which is a surprising update. Elon mentioned that specific components will be added to achieve this upgrade, sparking curiosity about the precise method SpaceX is going to use. What innovative solutions do you think SpaceX might adopt? Let us know down there in the comments. Musk emphasized that this upgrade is to accommodate the next generation of Starship. From the presentation back in April, it seems Musk is referring to Starship V3, which is expected to reach an impressive height of up to 150 meters, passing up the current tower's stature. Therefore, the new tower will need to be taller than the rocket. The ideal height for the new tower could range from 160 to 170 meters to effectively support future missions and SpaceX's ambitious plans. Ultimately, Elon and the company aim to build four Starship launch towers, with two to be made in Texas and two in Florida over at Cape Canaveral, pending local, state, and federal approvals. He explained that the Texas facility is likely to serve as the testing ground for trial launches and rocket manufacturing, while most launches will take place in Florida. This seems to be a foreseen future, part of Elon Musk's long-term plan. A significant recent move by the CEO was the decision to relocate the SpaceX headquarters from Florida to Texas. Although this is said to be related to some gender-related laws, we can understand that this is a first step for Elon to achieve his long-stated goal. Besides detailing the tower's progress, Elon also revealed upcoming upgrades to the Megazilla arm system. He recently highlighted its current shortcomings, such as its long design and slow generation, leading to significant moments of inertia, vibrations, and impacts, unsuitable for quick high-precision tasks like catching rockets. To enhance efficiency, the new arms will be shorter, increasing flexibility and speed while ensuring they can handle the rocket's payload and retract independently, minimizing risks to the entire system. On top of that, Musk hinted at another possible upgrade, introducing a flame trench beneath the tower. While previous sections focused on Configuration 3 and its flood discharge system, SpaceX could change its approach based on new systems tested at the Massey test site. Elon suggested that this change would require a significant overhaul, but SpaceX is still willing to adopt this solution if it proves effective. It's fascinating to learn about SpaceX's commitment to improving safety, including constructing concrete bunkers and protective walls around the launch tower and tank farm. These measures are crucial as the Starship stages come back to Starbase on future missions, ensuring the resilience of critical systems and the dynamic space exploration environment. Looking ahead to the future, SpaceX aims to launch thousands of flights and thousands of starships, making launch towers and accompanying facilities indispensable. Right now, we can see SpaceX's efforts to improve their construction speed and quality every day through their monumental engineering projects. This will be key for them to confidently pursue their ambitious path that few others can follow. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.